So in this video, we're going to look at the regulations along the French Riviera coastline. And we're going to have a look at the regulations around the Cap d'Antibes in the Bay de Cannes and in the very popular anchorage of the Ile de Lerin. And we've gathered our information from the SHOM nautical charts, which are the uh, French Hydrographic Office official charts, the Bloc Cotier, which is a, uh, a kind of guidebook to the ports and anchorages along the coastline. And this leaflet that's uh, available as a download or from some of the capitaneries at the harbour offices in the ports along the coast, which details the uh, rules and regulations as well. Now, a few years ago, they imposed some uh, speed restrictions around the Cap d'Antibes. And there's now a 10 knot speed limit around the cap. And there aren't, actually aren't any physical markers in place. There's nothing out there to tell you where these, this limit extends to. But rather than that, there's some uh, geographical points, some latitude and longitude coordinates, which actually tell you where the, the points are, which uh, define the speed limit area. And this doesn't affect the, uh, the less than five knots within 300 metres of the shore and any harbour entrances rule that applies. That's still there. And that is usually, but not always, defined by yellow boys. Now, that's a little uh, overview, diagrammatic view of where the points are. Uh, there are latitude and longitude points. So if you've got a, an old chart, you can plot your own points in. But if you get a newer SHOM chart or a newer chart, they'll have uh, this area defined. You can see there that that's the vitesse limite is the uh, look at the note to see that it tells you again that it's 10 knots. But you can see that the edges of the boundary there around the cap. So if you prefer looking at electronic charts, this is a, a screenshot of some Navionics software which shows the uh, speed limit again, or the area of the speed limit. It does extend quite a long way out. Uh, you can see it's roughly half a mile from uh, Cap Gro, which is on the, uh, the eastern side of the cap, and then another half a mile out from the, uh, the lighthouse there on the, uh, the western side of the cap. And sort of uh, fences off the, the cap on Teeb to to ensure people aren't going around it at too fast a speed. Now, if we go a bit further west, we come to the beautiful Ile de Lerin, and this is a very, very popular anchorage. Um, and you'll, I'll show you some footage later on of how popular it is, but you can see just from these photos that there's an enormous amount of boats and uh, craft anchored within between the islands and also all around the little bays that uh, either side of the islands as well. And the area is defined really, it's a, a virtual line drawn from uh, the Pointe du Dragon across to Pointe du Barbier, which is a, a little island off the, or a little islet off the smaller island of Ile saint honoré And from this little island across to Ile saint Fabriol. apologies for the pronunciation. But that's where the speed limit starts. And that's actually, there's two areas of speed limits there. There's actually a, uh, you've got a channel that runs between the two, which is defined by red and green buoys, which is mainly used by the ferries that come from Cannes and uh, other ports along the coastline to take passengers out to Ile saint honoré And so they come from both directions there. So there's a five knot speed limit there, but what a lot, not everybody realizes is that once you move out of that channel, you're actually in a three knot speed limit area. So any of this bay, if you're anchored anywhere here or here, either side of the channel area, the speed limit is three knots. And you can see it defined there with a different color scheme. The lighter blue is the three knot area. And there's also quite a lot of restrictions on what you can actually do. Jet skis aren't allowed anywhere. Um, you're not allowed to dive in this area. I think there's some sort of cabling there. Uh, no anchoring in this part here. So it's pretty evident what they're trying to show you from that little diagram. And that's part of the uh, 
the leaflet that I mentioned earlier, which we'll put a, a link to in the um, in the video description. Now in the Bay of Can, there's some limits there, and uh, again, this is a very heavily trafficked area. Uh, so they've decided to put a, a 10 knot speed limit, and that's defined by a point from the uh, Batigier, which is a large beacon that's been just painted white now, across to the uh, entrance to the port of Cannes, where you've got a large, uh, a large port entry marker, which you can't really mess, miss, rather. And from the casino on the Cap de la Croisette, which is a really large building, that's the largest building on the Cap, across to the fort on the Ile Saint Marguerite, and the fort, if you like to know a bit of local history, is apparently the one where the uh, the man in the iron mask was imprisoned. So within that area, that little sort of uh, area defined by those two lines there, there's a 10 knot speed limit. And you can see it again from this little shot of the uh, of the uh, leaflet that defines the regulations that no jet skis allowed, motorboat channel to go up to the uh, Ile Saint-Marguerite. And again, there's channels here which are marked by yellow boys, which mark the channels that kite surfers can use, motorboats, windsurfers. It's all quite self-explanatory, I think. Um, and as you go along the Bay de Cannes as well, there's also further channels that lead up to the beach uh, that are used for various different types of crafts. So there's a bit of segregation between uh, things like windsurfers and um, or sailing boats and motor boats for which ch channel you can use. And also there's a, a particular anchorage for cruise ships, which is marked just outside Cannes. So not only do we have all this sort of general traffic, but also the, uh, the shuttle craft that take in cruise ship passengers to tour around the port of Cannes and the surrounding area will also be heading into the port of Cannes itself. So another reason why the, the speed is limited in this area. This bit of footage is uh, just uh, by kind commission of Name Zero, who I'll put a link to in the, uh, the, the video notes. What it shows you is just how busy, brilliantly illustrates how busy it does get. And this wouldn't be uh, unusual for a, a day in the middle of the summer to have this many boats anchored. Um, you know, obviously all the things that go on around them, people swimming, diving, snorkeling, stand up paddle boards. So you can see looking west there towards the Cap Don Tube, very busy. And here looking down towards the smaller Ile San Honora, you can see the entrance to the channel. It looks like a couple of the uh, ferry boats coming in, swinging west. You can see the craft start to congregate towards the the uh, anchorage. And they're looking north towards Cannes. You can see one of the cruise ships anchored there. And this is the area we we're talking about where you would need to keep the speed less than 10 knots. Fort's just off the edge of the screen. The casino area is just about here. There, you go. there is the fort, in fact. So a line drawn from here to the fort and a line drawn from the entrance to Cannes across to the point just around here. So that area is all less than 10 knots, so please be aware of that. As we go to the port of Cannes itself, well, we've uh, got a three knot speed limit in the port, which you'd expect, very busy port. You reach them on VHF channel 12, uh, which is uh, usually it's channel nine for most of the ports on the coastline. But, uh, this one's 12. And you see it's quite a, a narrow entrance. You've got the uh, picture we just saw, the, the white and green uh, marker there, which defines the entry passage there. And here's one of the um, the craft that does take uh, passengers or sightseers across to the islands. And they do exit and enter enter the port at quite a fast rate. And if you hear this this sound, then you know they're about to leave the uh, leave the dock.
So within the, um, just to recap, really, the, the, the regulated zones in, in the Alp Maritime Department, between the, uh, the Ile de Lerin, it's a direct translation, so it's not exactly worded correctly, it limits five knots in the channel and three knots outside of the channel. In the Bay of Cannes, it's uh, 10 knots, as we mentioned. And in the Real French Inlet, or the uh, Rad de Real French, that uh, was in the previous video, that's a speed limit of five knots. There's also, not mentioned here, is the uh, speed limit that's generally imposed along the whole coastline of uh, less than five knots when, you, when you're within 300 metres of the shore of it or any harbour entrance. But for any infringement of that, the uh, penalties are fairly heavy with a possible prison sentence and a €3,750 fine. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, it's uh, the second in our series. We did a further uh, previous one on the, uh, the Rad de Villefranche and the, um, the regulations around Nice. So please take a look at that one. And uh, please uh, do subscribe and like the video because we'll do some other ones, uh, possibly go a bit further west again to the Gulf of Saint-Tropez where, where there is a very popular area for recreational boats to go and a few regulations to be aware of there as well. Thanks very much.